Hello, and today I will be speaking to you about some of the research work in molecular microbiology which we are conducting at University of Malaysia, Sabah. Today I will be focusing on the mammoth copper mine, an acid mine drainage site in Sabah, and discussing some of the microbes which we have isolated at this location. We are looking at the adaptive mechanisms of Bacillus cereus, which is one of the dominant microbes found in this location. A brief history of Mammoth Copper Mine. Mammoth Copper Mine is the only copper mine in Malaysia. It was operated since 1975 at Ranao, Sabah, and is located at a height of 1,500 meters above mean sea level. The operation of mining ceased in 1999, and currently the mine is a pit which is filled with water, rainwater runoff, and acid mine drainage is occurs in the vicinity of this mine pit. The pH, the average pH of the mine pit, as indicated in this location in dark blue, is within the range of 2.9 to 3.75. Analysis of the water from this pit indicates the presence of high concentrations of copper, cadmium, lead, zinc, chromium, nickel, iron, manganese, cobalt, and arsenic. This has been reported in a previous study by Ali et al. in 2004. This is the location of the pit and the approximate location in Sabah, Malaysia. This is a panoramic view of the mine pit. So as you can see, this is the runoff, which is the water which has accumulated, rainwater which has accumulated over many years. And this water has a pH of around 3 to 4. In order to understand the dynamics of microbial ecology at this particular mining site, we looked at Bacillus cereus, which is one of the predominant isolates that we encountered during our analysis of soil samples. So Bacillus cereus has a number of habitats. Bacillus cereus belongs to the sensuolato group, which encompasses Bacillus cereus, Bacillus thuringiensis, and Bacillus anthracis. It is a potential pathogen that produces cytotoxins associated diarrheal disease, and it can survive in highly acidic environments, including the human stomach, in mining areas, and wastewater. We posited that locally isolated Bacillus cereus strains from Mammoth Copper Mine have adapted to survive in the presence of toxic levels of copper, as indicated by there are gene clusters for copper tolerance. This is an overview of our methodology. We first collected samples, soil samples. This was done by a core analysis. So we selected a core sample at a depth of 10 centimeters below the surface soil. We then carried out elemental soil sample analysis using ICP OES. We isolated bacteria on standard microbial media. We isolated exonic strains as well, and we characterized them on the basis of their 16S RDNA ribotype. Subsequently, we extracted DNA, and we subjected to whole genome sequencing, annotation, and analysis for specific genes. And finally, we compared it with existing strains of Bacillus cereus from the ATCC to identify specific genes associated with copper tolerance. This is a scanning electron microscope image of the Bacillus cereus strain. As you can see, the characteristic it is Bacilliform, and this is an indication of the size of the strain. So we got a size of around 3.32 micron in the length and as you can see, this 
characteristic of the strain is that it is vasiliform. These are some of the other characteristics. The shape is rod. It has a gram-positive test. It's positive for catalase. It can solubilize phosphate, fix nitrogen. Citrate agar test was negative. It can not utilize mannitol. It's resistant to ampicillin and susceptible to canamycin. This is an indication of the copper tolerance in vitro. So there are various concentrations of copper which we tested. And as you can see, the strain can tolerate up to 1.2 millimolar of copper in media, which is above the level of that recorded in the elemental analysis of the mines soil samples. So we sequenced the genome of this particular strain using single molecule real-time sequencing and the accession is available at the gene bank. So this is the accession number PRJNA373809. The genome size is in the region of 5 megabases with a GC content of 35.6. We were able to obtain a complete genome and we obtained a single contig with approximately 11,000 coding sequences and the complete set of RNA sequences. We applied MOV or utilized the program MOV to align it with a standard ATCC strain and we obtain regions of homology between the two strains. We annotated the genome using RAST and we identified various subsystems associated with metal tolerance as well as antibiotic resistance. So looking at the genome in terms of subsystems, there were 32 subsystems associated with copper homeostasis, which was our target, as well as other subsystems associated with multi-drug resistance and well as anti-pathogenic genes. So the copper homeostasis genes are primarily associated with magnesium cobalt efflux protein, CORC, the cytoplasmic copper homeostasis protein, CUTC, transporting ATPases, and copper translocating P-type ATPases. We also identified a multi-drug resistance transporter family, multi-copper multi oxidase, and copper resistant protein D. So in conclusion, the bacillus serious strain isolated from the soil sample of mammoth copper mine contain a genome size of approximately 5.4 megabases. It contained a unique set of genes which are responsible for copper homeostasis and which permit it to survive in the copper-rich environment of the mine site. The sample strain can resist up to 0 0.8 millimolar of copper. These are some of the references which you have cited in this presentation. And we would like to acknowledge the grant received from the Ministry of Higher Education, Government of Malaysia, as well as the Jabatan Mineral Dam Geoscience Sabah, which is associated with the custody of the Mahmud Copper Mine.